Now, many people believe that Nikola Tesla was hampered, shut down, and eventually killed by forces in America who were opposed to his plans for free electricity and telephony. And when you consider that those two industries alone have made several trillion dollars over the past hundred years or so, you begin to understand the motives for stopping him at all costs. Tesla coils. Today, people across the world recreate his experiments and I've arranged to see something similar here in Gloucester. Hi. Hi there. Mark. The Tesla King. Welcome to a high voltage <laughs> world. Nice to see you. This is it, right? This is the Tesla coil, yes. OK. Can we see, fire it up? Of course you can. This is the solid state one. So this uses switches to turn it on and off. So is it dangerous? It is dangerous. It's about half a million volts, 400 to 500,000. If you can just step back, please, that'd be great. <laughs> OK. I'm going to stay with you. So what we do? Whoa. That's in test mode. So we're testing the system to make sure okay. it works. OK. And now if we give it full power... Right. Volts. It's very noisy. <laughs> it is noisy. You've noticed, haven't you? <laughs> I've never noticed. And why is it that kind of purple colour? Why is that? So the air is made up mostly of nitrogen. When you excite nitrogen and give it power, the electrons jump on the state, and as they come back again, it gives you a little flash. And that flash of light is always purple. If we had an argon atmosphere or another gas, it'd give you a different colour. Right. Okay. Can we just shut that one down a sec? Wow, OK. <coughs> and this is its big brother, right? This is the big brother, yeah. OK. What sort of voltage is this one? It's a million volts. I'm going to turn the power on slowly. So, we're coming on. So you see that they're not connected to any part of the power. That's it's what I'm sucking up power from the air and they're turning off wireless power transmission. So he really was onto something, Tesla. I mean, he was. Tesla knew what he was. So then, as we bring the power up, you can see the electrons turning off. That is so noisy. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. I've gone a bit good. Oh, yeah. That's just my me reacting normally. That's We've fear, put loads is of, it? Yeah, it is partly fear, but there is loads of static in the air, loads of power in the air. Because I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting goosebumps. I can feel like my hair on the back of my neck standing up here. That is amazing. In May 1899, Tesla moved to Colorado Springs to work on the high-frequency, high-voltage experiment for which he became best known. Using fast Tesla coils, he created artificial lightning, discharging millions of volts of electricity up to 135 feet. And, as you can understand, it caused quite a stir in the surrounding area.